Hello everyone, welcome to Worm Unlimited. This series I am calling Chopped, where I go into my videos and chop them up and put down what I think could be a good tutorial for Worm Unlimited. I hope you enjoy the videos and find them helpful. And if you do, please hit like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of upcoming videos. Thank you very much for stopping by, and I'll talk to you all later. Mm, bye. As you can see, my food's going down. Most people probably tell me to that I should uh, cook some food. You know what? Let me see, what's it at? It's at 11. Okay, well, let's try to cook some food. How's that? I'll show you how cooking works real quick. Let's see. I'll get off here. Okay. We'll just take a log out of here. That will work. Drag and drop. Yeah, we'll just put this stuff in here for now. And we need to make kindling. So what you can do, click your knife right mouse click the log go down to create go down to let's see kindling and you can create kindling this way which will it takes time to do it that way but if you want a lot of it just open your crafting drag your log drag your knife and oops, go to kindling and you can make it this way but we just want one right now well actually we'll we can use the log to fuel it okay now we will make a fire uh, I wanna let me take up some grass over here so you can see the fire once I make it Okay, we'll flatten, uh, we'll pack this down so when I make the fire you can see it right here. Okay, here we go. Now, what you need to do is double click your steel and flint and you right click your kindling. Now, if I remember correctly, if you have like five kindling in, in your inventory and you, I believe, if I remember, you can, uh, if you right click it, somebody said you can make uh, all the fires at once, but I don't think it ever happened to me. You click create, furnace, and then campfire. Don't be surprised if you fail. Hey, look, we got it. Okay, now we have the fire. Double click your log, and actually, all right, down here says 10 minutes. That may or may not be enough, but let's burn the log anyways. You right mouse click and burn. Now it gave us 52 minutes. Okay. Now go over here and we will grab a piece of meat. Uh, let's see. How many pumpkins do we have? <laughs> Two. Uh, corn. All right. We will find out. Stew. I was told when you first start out, you should make stew. Meat stew, vegetable stew. Um. Yeah. Okay. You can use corn. Any herb. Ah, uh, meat. Meat and any vegetable and any herb. Okay, that's what I thought. And of course I probably don't have many vegetables. Corn. How many corn do we have? Uh, boy, we definitely need to get get our farm going. Alright, let's use a corn. We'll use a corn and 
we could probably use a sage, I guess. Um. Hmm. Did I not make... Oh, wait a minute. I must have made a knife, right? Yep, okay. Uh, might as well keep that in here. Double click your knife. And you would... Actually, I found the best way to do this is open up your crafting. Drag your knife over. And drag your meat. And dice your meat. I guess this helps your uh, cooking go. Uh, it doesn't help your f hot food cooking, but it does help your cooking. If that makes sense. And you do the same for your vegetables. And herb. There we go. Now we would take our our bowl, open the fire put the bowl in. Oh, as you uh, burn logs, you get ash. Ash is used uh, for leather working. I'm not sure if it's used for anything else. Now you put, you can put the meat in. And if you fry, I found that if you fry each individual meat, it helps your cooking go up too, before you add the uh, vegetable and your herb. It may take a little time for it to cook. Okay, well, this is different. Now, I just put the meat in to uh, cook the meat, and it just made me a breakfast. So, <laughs> I guess we get to save the vegetable and the uh, sage. So, all you do is just right mouse click and eat. And as you can see, it says it's hot. Now, if it gets too hot, like boiling hot, you won't be able to eat it. See, it didn't do anything for my uh, for my <laughs> my food. <laughs> Let's try this again. This time, we'll just put all of it in and see what happens. Okay. Now we'll put all. Whoops, I didn't want three pieces of meat, but we'll just put all these in and see what we get. If you just make breakfasts, it's going to probably take you forever to uh, get your food up. And this here is uh, this great bar. This is just uh, what's called sleep bonus. Um, if you log out in a, uh, you right click a bed and you log out that way, you can build y your sleep bonus up. And um, what you do is down here, you just type this, I believe, uh, this, this, and F sleep, I believe, and it should turn white. There you go. Now it just turned white. So, as I'm cooking, if I had this on when I put my food in, I could get extra bonus for cooking. I don't know if it will, no. It may not do anything. I'm not sure. Now, if you want to turn it off, just go back down here, type F, sleep again, and there you go. And I believe as you make different meals, I believe it goes into your uh, recipe book. Like right here, breakfast. It was just down here. It says recipe breakfast added to your cookbook. So when you did, okay, there we go. See, it just made another uh, another breakfast. Now it didn't give me much. It's just 45. That's why I'm not I'm not uh, getting anything as far as filling me up here. I'm gonna have to go out and kill a lot more animals so I can get some more meat. This, this will take a while to fill up when you first start. 
Okay. I guess I'm going to end it here. I just wanted to show you quickly the other items. I'll let this burn out so the ashes build up.